So we again decide to play. Uh, we're going to keep that hand. That's pretty much one of the best hands we're going to see without a poison guy. But we do have the Moria Kreplika to draw us into things. And importantly, we've got these Uri's Archers to buy some time. Um, we've also got double instill infection, which against his deck is going to be really, really strong. Um, I mean, obviously it could all go bulls up if we don't draw third land, but being able to just kill off, say, a Plague Stinger or um, an Ikaclormer on turn three is going to be really, really powerful. Um, so, or a Vector Asp, make him use the mana, kill it off, it seems all right. Um, and we've got the, the land that we needed. So this hand's looking pretty awesome. It's so basically the two instill infections that made me keep it. Um, I mean, we can draw into stuff with the Moro Kreplika, but the instill infection against his deck is just going to buy us so much time. Um, I mean, if he gives this... Oh, he's got Painsmith. I mean, that's annoying, but at least we've got a 4-drop uh, kill spell that just deals with it on turn 3, which is awesome. Oh, Perilous Mare. Uh Going to make the Perilous Mare here instead. Basically does the same thing as the Instill Infection, but might actually stop him from swinging altogether, which is much better. Um, because it means we can save our Instill Infections and, you know, just gain some board presence through the, the Perilous Mare. Uh, leave green and black open. Yeah. Obviously not attacking. That would be really bad. Um... We don't even really want to get normal damage through. There's no way that we're going to win through it. He can't profitably attack here. Or he just gets two for one. Um, even if he gives it death touch, you know, that just gives us even more advantage because it means that he's not doing anything useful. So yeah, he makes another one toughness guy that's just food for our instill infection. So... Given that we've still got the Perilous Mare, I see no reason to leave the Instill Infection open, and I'd rather get some board presence. Um, so run out the Morial Crap like a Leaf Manor open that we can sacrifice at the end of turn, or we can just leave it up. You know, it's a perfectly fine blocker. Don't necessarily want to sacrifice it straight away, especially if we know what we're going to be doing in subsequent turns. I'd rather just try and prevent him from attacking. So... Taking a long time to think. Probably about what artifact he's going to play, and if he does, what he's going to give in fact. Yeah, he's playing an artifact. It's not in fact death touch and the plus two. So he's giving his plague stinger plus two plus not and death touch. Um. So he's probably quite likely to attack with the stinger. I think I'm quite happy to just trade with the Azuri's archers. He's a bit light on mana. I'm not really worried about Dark Slick Drake at this point. Um, you know, it's the uh, the Tainted Strike that I'm actually more worried about. And the, this is what the Azuri's Archers is here to do. Um, quite just block and trade here. He's wasted a Nihil Spellbomb um, on trying to power it up. And I can always kill the things. I'm going to leave the, the Moria Kreplika around. It's just a, a decent board presence and I can at least get some card advantage by blocking and then sacking it later. Pretty sure I knew what our game plan was going to be anyway, so actually we don't get any advantage from drawing extra cards. If he decides he's going to attack here, we just get a nice 2 for one off the Perilous Mare, and if he doesn't attack, we'll just kill his Painsmith at the end of turn with the Instill Infection. I think that's basically the best thing we could be doing at this point, so drawing extra cards will do very little. Yeah, he's hit his fourth land, but he can't make the Dark Slick Drake. Um, yeah. He doesn't seem to have the best start, but he's got a corpse cure to get back his plague stinger. That's annoying. I guess we can still kill it. Uh, he's giving our guy death touch. Uh, yeah, I guess he's not attacking then. Um, given that he's getting some card advantage, it's probably best if we sack the replica. Uh, not gonna. And still infection anything. Don't really see any need given that we've still got the Perilous Mare. I'd much rather use the Perilous Mare to kill off the uh, the Painsmith. At least we get a 2 for 1 then. Uh, I'm just going to make a Tangle Angler here. 
means you can't really attack with anything but the corpse kill. And if he attacks with the corpse kill, we'll just kill it with the perilous mare. Um, and he can't it means he can't play the plague sting in pre-combat either, because we'll just kill that instead. That's what we're really worried about. And still, in fact, since I just make this board position look so much better for us. It's kind of, I'm a big fan of it here against the poison deck, obviously. But in a lot of decks, it can just be really powerful, especially if you've got stuff like proliferate going. So he's got a nickel mare that's really annoying. Makes his guys genuine threats. Uh, it looks like he's going to be attacking then. I think that's a really bad attack from him. <clears throat> he's got a huge board advantage. Um, I'd wait until the he's got the claw mirror as well, because uh, now I can just block, trade, and then hit him with the, the perilous mirror. I'm going to take out the. Probably take out the corpse care. Given that I'm going to be taking out the painsmith next turn, and I'm not really bothered about the Eclomir because I've got the instill infection. Um, obviously, I'm going to kill the, the painsmith with the, the tangle angler next turn and get in with black cleave goblin as well. Um, or just instill infection that and get in. Yeah, instill infection looks much better because then we don't shrink the tangle angler by as much. So yeah, we can we can kill his plague stinger, get in with the tangle angler and make sure we kill the pain smith, and then make a cis bearer. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, obviously kill the plague stinger, otherwise he just gets free value off the block. Um I mean he's getting some anyway with the Ecoclome, but killing the pain smith is gonna be so big in this match. Um Oh, we didn't actually have the mana before we drew that land to, to make this a spare and the install infection, but we do now. So you can just attack. He has to block. He's obviously going to block with both. Makes the Tangle Angler a 0-4, but it doesn't really matter. We're not that bothered. Um, it's still going to do its job of providing a lure. It just becomes like a taunting elf or something. So yeah, we'll make a spare. Which seems pretty strong. Quite happy to take the uh, Eclomir damage if he attacks. It's not something we're really scared of. So he's hit his sixth mana and now he doesn't have anything. So it's a bit awkward for him. I guess if he had another Corpse Kill here, that would be pretty awesome. Contagious name, that's also quite good. And a thrumming bit. Great.